You know Charles Darwin? You heard of Charles Darwin? An Englishman, that's why I'm asking. Two hundred years ago, born but about hundred and fifty years ago, he said, you were all monkeys, not me, I'm not saying that, he said that. You were all monkeys, your tail fell away, you became human, you know the story. When you were a monkey, you did not aspire to be human. Nature just pushed you on, you did not choose. But once you have become human, if you want to evolve from here on, you have to consciously evolve, otherwise there is no other way. When I say you have to consciously evolve, what you call as human is not an established state, it's a flux. This moment you can be godlike, next moment you can be a brute. You have seen with yourself, this moment you're wonderful, next moment you're nasty, next moment you're beautiful, next moment you're ugly. Is this not happening to you? So a human is not a being, he's a becoming. He's an ongoing process, nothing is fixed. You can be whichever way you want to be. This freedom that you have, that you're not fixed like every other creature on this planet, if you're aware, this is the greatest benediction because you could make yourself whatever you want. If you're unaware, this is the greatest curse. Humanity is right now suffering this freedom. Humanity is not suffering bondage as people are saying. Humanity is suffering its freedom. If your life was also fixed like every other creature, you would have gone about without any stress. You didn't have to do yoga, isn't it? Isn't it so? If your life was fixed like every other creature on this planet, you wouldn't be stressed. Only because it is not fixed, you can be anything you want, anything, just about anything can happen in your mind. This is why the stress, isn't it? Being human means, see suppose a tiger is born. A tiger is not sitting and worrying how to become a good tiger. Just get enough food, he will become a good tiger. <laughs> he is not worried, will I become a good tiger, will I end up as a house cat? No such problems. You are born as a human being, but still how many things you have to do to be a good human being and still you don't know where you belong, isn't it? Only in comparison with somebody you can say, Compared to this person, I am little better. By yourself, you don't know where you belong. Isn't it so? Isn't it so? Because what is human is not an established state. It is a possibility. It is not a fixed state. If this possibility has to be made use of, there is a whole system of understanding that needs to happen. Understanding the mechanics of how this life functions and what we can do with it, this mechanics, this technology, this science, we are referring to as yoga.